You guys really loved this World War Simulator, so I figured why not make it an actual World War Simulator. Last time we played on a European map, this time a full Earth map. So now I have to decide which nations we want to spawn in this world. We need a Brazil for sure, then definitely an Argentina, maybe a Peru and like a Grand Colombia. Then we'll do Mexico, USA, and Canada. No Great Lakes here, so that's going to make the wars between USA and Canada pretty interesting. I kind of want to see if an island nation can do well, so maybe I'll have a Cuba. Can't have a World War without Germany. Germany, am I right? Ah, those Germans. Then we'll have France and the UK, Spain, Italy, Turkey, and maybe like a Greece. Gotta have Russia. And then maybe we'll do like a Georgia down here. Sweden, Norway, Denmark. So I'm not like uh, playing favorites with the Scandinavian countries. Maybe Finland. We need like India, Vietnam, a China, Korea, Japan, maybe a Mongolia, Iran, Kazakhstan, Saudi Arabia. Okay, let's just do like a couple here in Africa, Nigeria, a car nation, an Ethiopia nation, South Africa, Madagascar. No, New Zealand? Never mind, guys. I'm sorry. This can't be a world war. New Zealand's way too important. And the Philippines right there. I think this is a good enough amount. This time, I will not be allowing revolts so that we can see one nation try to take over the entire world. I'm definitely going to have to try this again with all the USA states. So please subscribe if you want to see that in the future. So I just renamed all the nations. And as soon as I press play, everyone's going to expand across the map. Now, the North American nations are going to have a lot to work with. So is Russia and Kazakhstan and Mongolia. We already have our first war, of course, is between Mongolia and China. Now, is this going to allow Korea to maybe squeeze up through Siberian lands and move around this country? Although by the time they do that, Kazakhstan might eat up everything up over here. We also have a war between Ethiopia and Arabia. There's a war between Vietnam and India. Okay, stuff's happening everywhere. Morocco versus Nigeria. Of course, the initial wars are going to happen. Uh, there's going to be a lot of them. USA going straight over for Alaska. They really want Alaska. This feels more like Manifest Destiny. Mexico's gotten back their old states and I think then some. They're all the way up here near Washington. Big war between Grand Colombia and Peru. Now the European nations don't have a whole lot to work with. Actually, it looks like Turkey might already take out Greece. They're getting dangerously close to the capital there. And now here is our army map mode. The army map mode is on. Whoa, whoa, what's going on with Mongolia? Why? What? what is, is that all their armies? China seems to also have a lot as well. Are they like just really in production right now because they're going after their neighbor? Other wars aren't doing this though. There's also a nice path for the UK to take to go after Greenland and Iceland. But you know what? Norway got to it first. And the first casualty has has happened, it is Denmark destroyed by Sweden. Ooh, that's not gonna make them too happy. There's also another invasion point that Nigeria can do against Brazil. Cuba's doing all right. They got a little bit of the Yucatan Peninsula and they might be able to invade Grand Colombia. Grand Colombia is very distracted. Oh, and Grand Colombia is getting really close to the Peruvian capital. Morocco was destroyed by Nigeria. I don't know if Spain had a little bit of help in that at all. Looks like they might have. Again, these AI simulators always somewhat match what happened in reality. Italy's going after kind of Libyan lands, not North Africa. Why does Kazakhstan look like they're going to blow up? Like, why is are they the strongest nation in the world right now? That's what it looks like. If you look at size, yes, Kazakhstan is number one, and then it's Canada. Canada doesn't even look that big. It looks like USA or Mexico is bigger. Now, Canada really just has the eastern side here because they really were cut off. USA did get all of Alaska. They need to worry. They could easily get smashed. Also, Cuba got Florida. Oh, man, this might not be too good for the Americans. There's a lot of peace deals happening. Madagascar got a piece of continental Africa as well, and boom, we have the third death. France was destroyed by the UK. Again, they probably love that. And then Georgia was destroyed by Kazakhstan. Greece is still somewhat holding on against Turkey, or maybe the war stopped. Here goes Germany and Russia going at it. Wait a second, some World War II stuff going on here. Boom, they pieced out. Germany will live to survive for a little bit longer. We also have like a kingdom rank here in the UK, which means they can put down a second settlement. I believe Kazakhstan is big enough. Are they an empire yet? I'm not sure, but they have another city over here. Look at the Philippines go and take over a lot of southern China. Why did China also block off Vietnam from India? That seems like a terrible idea. Let them keep going to war with each other. Australia's just chilling. They're already going after uh, Papua New Guinea, and they'll probably go to war with the Philippines soon next. Again, there are no revolutions, which means these empires will get very, very big, and they'll stay very big, I think, unless they start losing a bunch of wars. There's a ton of border gore happening here in South America. For some reason, Grand Colombia got a lot of their land just cut off. It's like some weird landlocked area, and now Argentina has just been destroyed by Brazil. 
Brazil really looking good now. So they can fight Peru and Grand Colombia who seem to be very distracted with each other or they can start attacking Nigeria. Nigeria's been losing a lot of territory. Egypt's doing okay but they're fighting against Arabia right now. And Uno reverse card, Greece actually took out Turkey. I thought it was going to be the other way around. So many rivalries happening. People must be losing their mind. Kazakhstan going after Russia. They're trying to be the only Soviet state. We also just had the fall of Egypt. They were destroyed by Arabia. And the fall of uh, Germany. Italy destroyed Germany. So this is a very like Roman Empire I think here. Sweden, Norway, Finland all going at it. Russia's starting to slowly push back against Finland. This is a huge shift of power. Oh, but wait a second. Greece now attacks Russia. This is what the world map looks like so far. Australia pieced out with Indonesia. They're dangerously close to the Indonesian capital, Jakarta. And now South Africa's moving up against the Congo. Wait a second. Did someone just die? Or Oh, USA just changed colors. I'm freaking out. Mexico's getting smashed, or USA's getting smashed because Mexico's going in from the south. Mongolia was just destroyed by Korea, which means Korea has all this stuff up here. Also, Persia was destroyed by Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan's just getting thick and thicker. They do have to worry about some of their neighbors though. I mean, they're smack dab in the middle of this map, which could be a problem. We'll see if Russia can keep holding back both Greece and Kazakhstan. It's not looking like that's going to be the case. And then Australia did get a hold of Indonesia. All of the Indonesian islands went to them. Now they're going after Vietnam. Another collapse just happened in the Congo and it was done by South Africa. Someone die in South America? Well, Argentina did, but look how close Grand Columbia. Oh, there, there, there it goes. Grand Columbia finally got to Peru. Biggest nations in this game still is Kazakhstan and Canada, but now Korea is in third. Oh, the USA just died. USA was destroyed by Canada, but man, Mexico helped out a lot. And now, right when I said that, they're going to war with each other. Also, watch Cuba. Now, this game loves the, the nations that kind of get to like fortify really well and they're cornered off. They will survive for a very long time. Sweden destroyed by Norway. Norway is the only Scandinavian country left, but let's see if they can take out Finland to be the only Nordic country. India looks like they're going to collapse. China was destroyed by Korea. Korea still having a very good game and, and they're pushing back Japan. This is like the first AI battle I've ever seen where Korea does super good. India was destroyed by Kazakhstan now, and Arabia as well. So Kazakhstan is starting to roll over a lot of nations, but they do have to watch Korea. At least still going. It's going to be hard to take over Europe, because as I said, like, when you can kind of corner yourself off, it's hard for the AI to navigate to your capital. Canada is now winning their war against Mexico, and it's really one-sided. Are they going to get to Mexico City? This is not the accurate placement for Mexico. There it is. They did get to Mexico City, and it was just a landslide. So Canada might pass up Kazakhstan. No, actually, probably not, because Kazakhstan has taken out Greece, or at least it looks like they're going to take out Greece. They need to get, I think, three dots next to the capital. There it is. Boom. We also have maybe the collapse of South Africa. Madagascar is going after South Africa. And Peru is gone. It's just a war between Grand Colombia and Brazil for South America. Spain is somehow still around. They're still trying to expand their territory in Northern Africa. And it looks like Korea is going to wipe out the Philippines, at least from continental Asia. They're going to get pushed back to their islands, but they're going to be safe on these islands. Wait a second. Korea is doing a naval invasion of Japan, but this will, I don't know. Oh, they pieced out. Yeah, that's not going to be easy, but they were close. Philippines keeping Australia at bay for a second there. I thought the continent of Australia might start to pull ahead and maybe rival Kazakhstan, but not yet. We have Canada versus Cuba now. Cuba pushing through Florida and again, Mexico, former Mexico. South Africa was destroyed by Madagascar. Now Madagascar can move up against Ethiopia. Brazil might lose uh, Rio de Janeiro here as Grand Columbia. Well, there's a peace deal at the moment, but they're getting close. Wow, look at Cuba go. Look at Cuba go. Are they going to actually get to the capital right now? There seems to be a, a huge opening in the front lines. Oh, they were going to get overrun. Look at this. There was going to be a massive encirclement. The Cubans were going to get encircled by the Canadians. And now Kazakhstan is moving against Korea. And it's, oh, it is detrimental. The Korean Empire is over now. Vietnam is doing still okay against Australia. Australia is probably going to pick up these two kills. Look at all the kills Kazakhstan's gotten so far. Five total nations. Nowhere else is even close. Canada's at two. Canada's like the only one that's going to be able to rival Kazakhstan, but they got to take out Cuba faster. And they're getting very close to Havana. Will they get there though? I, they're going to try to surround it, but oh, they got him. Boom. So now they can focus on Grand Colombia because I don't think they're going to try to do too much pushing through Greenland. It's possible. Maybe they do. Like I said, I think Europe is going to be the thing that slows down Kazakhstan. But if Kazakhstan just goes after Asia and Africa, maybe gets a bunch of Nigeria, they can get, they can just keep on growing. This is a massive mess in, in the map. It's disgusting to look at. Korea is somehow still alive and they did not take out Japan just yet. Will Australia be able to defend their borders with all these like island crossings that are going to have to happen? Grand Colombia and Brazil, again, continuing to race, waste resources on each other. Look, Brazil has made a land 
landing in Africa though. It's small, however. It's Kazakhstan far and away, and then Canada in a middle second place. Korea is still strong. They're alive, but they're not the current champ. This is max of all time. Here's max right now. It's actually Nigeria. Of course, everyone's age is the same unless you die. Age is just interesting to look at when there's revolts. Ooh, Canada is going after uh, Norway. Norway and Finland, or fi I'm not sure. that Maybe they're going after both of them. So maybe they won't set their sights on the south, even though I feel like they should. Japan now attacking Korea for a little bit of a reverse. We'll see if Japan can kick off Korea from the islands. Kazakhstan has so many separate little cities. How did they get this big? Oh, wow. Did Who, who just fell? Madagascar took out Nigeria, and then Kazakhstan took out Finland. Now, wait a second. Madagascar might be able to hold back. Uh, maybe? The problem is, oh, Brazil invading from South America. This is going to be an issue for the uh, penguins of Madagascar. Probably going to find themselves in a three-front war. Here they are again against Brazil. Grand Colombia can help out Madagascar a lot if they start attacking, but I'm not sure what they want to do. Canada's distracted. They did get all of Greenland and now Iceland. Now they set their sights on the UK. The UK's been doing good, but now Scotland is being invaded. Also have to worry about Spain down here from the south. They did get um, the, what is this called again? The Cliffs of Dover. Probably more. Boom, there goes the UK. And we're down to less than probably 10 nations. I'm not even sure. Spain now landing in Naples. They're doing like a, uh, an Aragon sort of thing. Sort of personal union. Who is Canada attacking now? Canada's attacking Spain now since they lost the British Isles. I think they really wanted that. Or maybe they're just attacking Norway. I'm not sure. There goes Kazakhstan after Madagascar. There hasn't been an encirclement just yet, but it's close. The problem for Madagascar is, yeah, they're fighting Brazil, but oh, Brazil is now fighting Grand Columbia. Someone's got to get rid of someone here. Probably Grand Columbia has got to die. That's probably going to have to be the choice, but Canada still set their sights here on the north. I think Canada and Kazakhstan were actually in a brief war against each other. Norway is now gone. Kazakhstan again fighting Madagascar. Madagascar is really going to be the savior for Canada. Canada needs more time to get bigger. And then I don't really know what needs to happen here. Australia needs to probably just take out Vietnam and the Philippines, but they're probably not going to be the ones to do that. Japan and Korea are both somehow still alive. Brazil is now attacking Spain, and they actually are getting pretty close to the Iberian Peninsula now. Oh, and now Madagascar decides to join in. They're going to try to push them out of Africa. Italy somehow still alive, even though they've really been reduced to just a couple tiles. Canada now has all of the British Isles, I think, and then, but they are trying to push into continental Europe. Maybe they can land here in Brittany, France. Grand Columbia is gone. Also, Japan destroyed Korea. Man, I really thought this would be the one game where Korea destroyed Japan. Look at Japan fighting back against Kazakhstan, and they're pushing into China. This could be a big problem. They're still going. Kazakhstan might be fighting too many wars at once. They're fighting someone in Europe, or at least they were. They're fighting Madagascar. Japan is getting a lot. Wait, wait, wait. This is Korea. I'm sorry. I think I read this wrong. Korea did destroy Japan. Korea, there we go. The comeback. They peace out for a second. Korea is still getting more land. This is amazing. This is the world's chance. The problem is Brazil needs to stop fighting Madagascar. Madagascar maybe needs to stop some sort of coalition. Boom. Spain finally died. Here comes Canada. Canada is now going after Kazakhstan. This is it. There's a three-way war after the number one world power. Will they finally go down? They're getting dangerously close to the Kazakhstan. Oh, they peaced out and they started again. Let's see if Korea goes into it. Now, Australia might be a problem for, yes, Australia might be a problem for Korea. Korea really has to set their sights and focus on Kazakhstan. Now, wait a second. Now, do we have a new first place? Canada is technically number one now. And look, Canada is fighting in Europe to push back. They're trying to get them out of Eastern Europe. There's only six nations that remain in this world. Oh, Brazil. There goes Brazil after Canada, but that's a small front. That's a very small front. It's gonna be hard for the AI to push through the Central American territory, and then they gotta move through the Caribbean too. Australia is the smallest in this world. Look at Kazakhstan has dropped to fourth place. How has this happened? I love that this game can have ups and downs. I thought Kazakhstan was just gonna roll over and take the victory. I love that that's not happening. Even if Kazakhstan does somehow still win, they were so low at this point, it's gonna be incredible. This is like World War II, a race for Berlin. Well, Canada get to Kazakhstan first or will Korea? Korea is still fighting that war against Australia. So this is giving Canada some time. Canada right now is being peaceful towards Brazil. I'm not exactly sure how that's happening. Oh, here it goes. Korea's going to get there. Korea's got it. I think there's three. I thought I thought th I thought you only needed three dots. This really is a war, uh, a push for th there it is. Boom. They got it. So Korea did take the capital. They officially got the kill, but Canada got a lot out of that. So Canada's number one, but there's a tie between Korea and Brazil because Brazil's pushing out Madagascar. Brazil had to have had a nice little alliance with Kazakhstan. Now Brazil's going to be on their own. There's also going to be some huge wars between Canada and Korea. Korea's still trying to finish off Australia, but they're they're proven to be pretty tough warriors. Madagascar has got to be the next one to fall. I think uh, Brazil is going to, there it is. They've landed in the capital and there they go. They've, they've died. There are four nations left. Australia is way down there really low. Canada's number one. Oh, here we go. Brazil might be the savior for Korea. Canada's going after Korea, but Korea's fighting two different fronts. They're still fighting Australia. There's a peace deal now because I think Canada 
really wants to focus on Brazil. Brazil could totally win this game. They're strongly in second place. There's a huge front that they're fighting. This front's going to be hard to get through, but maybe they can push through Europe. This is going to be tough. Not a lot of open space. Maybe watch the Arabian front as, as Brazil pushes through the Middle East. Here goes Korea now. Maybe Korea can get the job done, at least helping Brazil quite a bit. I think Brazil and Korea kind of like each other in real life, right? Or I think that's Brazil and Japan, but you know, Korea controls Japan now, so maybe. Australia being a huge thorn in Korea's side. Oh, wait a second. Look at Brazil. Brazil's changed teams. Brazil's now going after Korea. They're peaceful with Canada at the moment. Now there's a race for Seoul. Or wait, that looks more like Pyongyang. That's North Korea, I think. This is just like 1980. Canada has betrayed the alliance. They, I thought they were going to both take out Korea together, but now Canada's moving south. Maybe going to cut off the Brazilian forces here somewhere in like northern uh, India or something like that. This front just doesn't move. This is too difficult. Oh, but there is some Canadians behind enemy lines in Algeria. They're trying to push. They're trying to connect with uh, the front that's going through the Strait of Gibraltar, but I don't think it's working. Ooh, things are getting ugly. Things are getting really ugly. Brazil is now in a lot of modern day Russia. There is like a separate little war happening here in Pakistan. This is keeping Korea alive somehow. Technically, the number one nation is now Brazil. Brazil is somehow leading. The war is so gory. Now, what does Korea do? Korea can easily swing this war one way or the other, depending on what they want to do. I think Korea just really wants to take out Australia, which they are actually getting close. They're so close to continental Australia. We'll see if they start to get pushed out, though. The Australians are still fighting. I think once they get here, they'll be able to take them out, but these islands are so tough. And Brazil has all of Africa, South America, and Europe. Canada is still now fighting with Korea. I think they're trying to get a hold of Asia to get some of their strength back. Australia did push back the Koreans. I think it's because Korea was fighting too many fronts back at home. Every time Korea gets close to destroying Australia, they just can't do it. This is where it gets dangerous. Brazil getting very close to Florida. Again, I think the bigger invasion will probably be from Brazil to the British Isles to Iceland to Greenland. I think that will be the, it's closer to, uh, it's closer to Ottawa anyways. The Canadians, look at the Canadians. They're now fighting back and they're pushing back. They got a lot of Asia back, a lot of Europe back. What is going on? Maybe Brazil spent too much of their forces trying to take out Korea. And now Australia is getting all of the Philippines. They're also moving into Southeast Asia. It's just someone's got to die. Someone's got to unite this area. That's all that needs to happen. There was a peace deal and now another war. Canadians are moving the front in Persia, but they're losing the front in Central Asia, in modern day Russia, also back in Spain and the Italian peninsula a bit. This isn't even moving at all pretty much. And while these two are distracted, again, Korea is going after Australia. The thing is, I think they're about the same size. Korea is, no, the Korea is significantly, I think significantly stronger, which is why they are gaining ground. But when these two start to go at them, that's when things slow down. If Canada can keep Brazil distracted, even if, yeah, Canada starts to lose a lot of the land over here, it's okay. Let Brazil have it. Korea will be forced to fight Brazil once they take out Australia. This is getting gorier and gorier by the second. I've never seen this game get so ugly. There's a piece to watch it. Watch it. Here it goes. Oh, that's going to destroy all of Korea's progress. But Canada here to save the day a little bit. Wait, no, they're both. What's going on? It's actually Canada fighting Korea. Why'd you do that? Okay, so Canada has been officially... Ooh. Ooh, Canada has been completely pushed out of the Eastern Hemisphere. Almost entirely. There they go from Norway. And also, they're beginning to lose Florida. This is bad. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, so Canada's one hope is they gotta hope that Korea takes out Australia in the next, like, five seconds. Maybe not five seconds, but pretty soon. Now, Brazil is in Iceland. I keep thinking Brazil is Spain for some reason. This yellow is reminding me of, of Spain. And that's not even their, like, daddy country. It's Portugal. Look at all these settlements that Canada has. There's one in Texas, but they've kept it mostly Canadian, mostly Northern. They have pushed them out of Iceland, so that's good, some good news. The thing about Korea getting closer and closer to continental Australia is that they won't allow Brazil to help out against Australia. That's what really needs to happen. If you give them an island or two, then maybe Brazil can really help, because I'm sure they want to take out Australia. They're, they're kind of weak. It's amazing they've survived for as long as they have. Brazil now has all of Georgia. Oh, they have a front in the deep south, but they are slowly getting collapsed. Oh, huge over... They're getting overrun. This, this, is a, this is a huge encirclement, but nope, nope. The Brazilians are still fighting back. They're still trying to slowly approach Ottawa. And actually, they're now having a lot of progress. Oh, this has got to be it. Oh, this has got to be it. There was a peace deal for a split second, but Brazilians are not going to let them get off that easily. This is the end of Canada, I think. Canada, who looked like they always had a chance. Wait a second. Wait a second. You're not focusing on the capital? Okay, here it is. Boom. Canada's dead, which means instantly Korea's going to die. There's only one front for Brazil to fight. Korea was still fighting. Oh, look. And look how close they were to the capital of Australia. Canada, Canberra, what was it called? They were so close. Once they took out Australia, this was going to be such an easier game for Korea, but nope. Rip. And now the Brazilians meet with the Australians. Let's see if they can finally... the. The 
final nail in the coffin has been waiting to get hit this whole time. Problem is they got to fight all the way through uh, Papua New Guinea to get to this straight crossing, but this straight crossing seems to be a little bit easier. And there they go. They have made it there to Northern Australia. So Brazil, who really did not look like they were going to win this game. At the very beginning, they were looking horrible. It looked like Kazakhstan was going to run away with it. Then it was Canada. Then kind of Brazil out of nowhere. But Brazil played very quietly and they did a like nice naval invasion of Africa. That was huge for them. And here they are at number one. But all time, Kazakhstan had the only, it was only third. Canada did get pretty big at the very end. Three fourth and then Madagascar. If you want to see more from this game, please subscribe. That'll be coming in the future. And big thanks to My Wife Hates This Part. My name is Walter Hartwell White. Drew's Argentinian the Polish, grandpa. Lithuanian California and Nevada. Bring back Poland balls. The Morton Price is $20 is a lot. Chris Dickens, Danny Evans, Price, Gamer Space Period, Robert Pendleton, Matt Phillip, Ron Terrell, and Animation Chachi, Ron Wilson, Ron Terrell, 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 Ron Terrell